Hey, Luca. Luca. Hey, Dad. Pardon? Hey, Dad. Luca, why are you speaking with an American accent? I'm not. Well, you are. Can we just stop, yeah? You got it ready? That's immature. Sorry for that. You will be if you keep speaking in that ridiculous accent. Luca, I'm serious. I'm just going to leave. Where did you even find that? Right, I'm not putting up with this. Good morning and welcome to another video. We are in our last location of our America trip. We're in a little town called Binghamton, which is upstate New York. It's like a three hour drive from New York City, I believe. And I'm making this video for two reasons. Firstly, because I made a 24 hours of McDonald's video like a month ago and you guys seem to enjoy it. So I figured why not do it again, right? And secondly, because I posted this picture on Instagram a few days ago and based on your comments and my general observations, I feel like my physique is like too good. You know, I feel like if I keep getting shredded, the internet's gonna explode and so what better way to drag my physique down than to eat nothing but donuts for 24 hours. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the rules are pretty simple and I mean, the title is quite self-explanatory. I'm gonna eat nothing but donuts for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna have water because I don't want to die of dehydration, but other than water, nothing else will be consumed other than donuts and specifically Dunkin' Donuts donuts. Now, I was doing research yesterday on donut places, like good donut places in the local area. And to be honest, Dunkin' Donuts is pretty much the only option. Plus, uh, we drove for like 10 minutes to go out for dinner last night and I must have drove past like seven Dunkin' Donuts. They're freaking everywhere. There is an abundance of Dunkin' They're kind of like taking over the world, so I feel like um, it's probably the best way to go. And so that is what I'm gonna do. So if you're excited to see me put my body on the line in the name of science and you'd like to see more of these types of videos, then drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get some breakfast. Awkward. What can I get for you? Hi, um, can I get a dozen donuts, please? Yeah, can I get um, four of like the strawberry iced ones, please? Four of like the original ones. And then with the last four, just get like whatever, surprise me. Do you want your receipt? Uh, that's fine, thank you. Okay. Cheers. There you go. Nice one, thank you. Yep, have a good one. And you. Thanks. Woo, that was embarrassing. Um, isn't it cool when you drive through a drive through um, don't realize the drive through speaking bit is right there, drive past it, then there's like 10 cars behind you, then you have to reverse back to get to the drive through bit, and everyone behind you has to reverse back as well, and then everyone thinks you're a stupid tourist that can't drive. Awkward! Anyway, here we go. So as you saw, I ordered, that's a loud car, I ordered eight specific ones, like the pretty safe ring ones, then I asked them to surprise me with the last four, and by surprise me, they just, I mean, that's like saying, uh, it's like going to get your hair cut and the hairdresser's like, what do you want? And you're like, surprise me. And then they punch you in the face. Like, technically that's a surprise, but it's a pretty crappy surprise. Um, they've just given me like some mouldy, I don't know what that is. That's pretty good to be fair. That's, I mean, they're good, but they're the same as what I've already ordered. Come on, where is your creativity. Um, I went fairly safe just because like it's quite early in the morning. I'm not particularly hungry. I would not normally eat loads of donuts in the morning so I want to give myself a fighting chance. Um, yeah, like donuts, nothing but donuts for a whole day. I don't know how I'm going to react. Um, I feel like the McDonald's one wasn't so bad because McDonald's has like, you know, various options. Plus there's protein in McDonald's whereas there's obviously no protein here so I'm going to be getting pretty much no protein all day which is going to suck. Um, definitely not ideal, but um, like I said, put my name, put my name, put my body on the line. In the name of science, no holding back. Uh, yeah, let's just start eating some donuts, I guess. Um, I don't feel too bad, like, I could probably do a couple more, 
but we've got people outside who are waiting for some donuts and if I go out there with an empty box, they're gonna be annoyed. Um, so yeah, eight Dunkin' Donuts. Now what I'll do throughout this video is I'll put the calories um, for what I'm eating on the screen so you get an idea of how many calories I'm consuming. So those eight donuts are right there. Um, yeah. Um, I might at the end put like the macronutrients because like I said, it'll be interesting to see like the fact there's going to be like one gram of protein in the whole day. So it'll probably be the least protein I've consumed in a day like since I was about 12 years old. So that'll be interesting. And by interesting, I mean it will suck. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and chill out outside, let people eat some donuts. Then we have an exciting trip planned. We're going to, um, Kev calls it a cottage. It's like a freaking mansion. It's a sick house. I'm excited to show you it in a bit. It's uh, on a lake um, and it's got like <clears throat> a boat, like a boat there. So you can do uh, like tubing and there's a like a jetty pier thing so you can jump off. The weather isn't great right now to be fair. So fingers crossed it clears up. Otherwise that's gonna suck. But yeah, next time you see me, we'll be at the cottage. Oh my God. The only reason the nut pain is under control that it really hurt my stomach eating those donuts and then doing that is a bad idea but we're here guys in the probably the sickest place i've ever seen in my life like what the hell this is like one of those um oh, i really hurt one of those um what do you call it cribs mtv cribs i feel like i'm in an episode of mtv cribs so i'll give you a little quick tour this is the kitchen area sick kitchen this is a hallway Sick hallway, bathroom, bedrooms, etc. Like, look at that window, all those windows. They're the biggest windows I've ever seen. Then you come out here, onto the veranda. Is that the right word? I think so. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're definitely using that today. We've got like the, the inflatable donut thing, so we're definitely gonna get involved in that. Also like a floating thing over there. Definitely gonna be doing several dives off that. Um, and then, what's that I hear you ask? Are there any drinks? You're a bit thirsty. No worries. Hello. Just the standard frozen refrigerated drink section. Only water for me, because I'm not a cheat. And nothing else is from Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, this isn't from Dunkin' Donuts, but it's water. And water's a natural occurring element, so. It's water. It's water. Okay, there you go, bro. Have a drink then. Good technique. Okay, um, I'm gonna get changed into something more sexual slash swimming based and I'll catch up with you in a sec. Much better. Now, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you may be unaware of the fact that I'm probably the best diver in the world. So in that case, you're in for a treat. Freaking sick, right? Um, Kev's been working all morning, but he's heading back fairly soon. So we're gonna hang here for a bit longer, and then Kev has been put under strict instructions to pick up some more Dunkin' Donuts, so I'll catch up with you when he gets there. Okay, I don't know why I'm acting so excited, because I still feel quite sick, but let's get set. Okay, I'm experiencing a pretty strong sense of deja vu. Donut vu, doesn't work. Um, this is what we have, um, I, said, I said to Kev just like be creative, fill your boots, choose what you want because I don't really know the Dunkin Donut flavours enough to give an order. Um, this is what we have, like a white one with blue stuff on, a pink one with stuff on, a white one with stuff on. I assume they're Boston Creams, don't know what that is, that's got like, cre that looks pretty sick, so maybe like a ring one with cream in, who knows. Um, got some water, Poland Spring if you're interested. Pretty solid backdrop for some donut eating, so I guess all that's left to do is just to eat some donuts. <laughs> okay, feeling good. 
two down, but you know what I was thinking? This background is a little bit samey. Why don't we mix it up? so sick right now guys um, I've done eight those ones are incredibly creamy like I don't know what the cream is but it's I don't know it's like, custard. like semen I feel like not that I consume semen but that's what I imagine it would be like so I find it hard to handle more of those with the donuts this morning that's quite a lot of donuts consumed so I could possibly eat one more if I just like force myself but I don't want to die I feel like a fat loser with no friends so I'm gonna put these down here just lie here for a bit um, write some poetry or something and then we're going to do some sick water sports when um, Luca wakes up. <laughs> Okay, you are about to witness the greatest example of tubing you've ever seen. Okay, I challenge you to get me off this. I'll give you a hundred. I'll give you a hundred dollars if you can get me into the water. One hundred dollars cap. Prepare yourself, buddy. Like I got hit by a friggin' truck. Okay, I'm um, gonna do some more water stuff and then probably get some donuts. Change of plan, I realized that um, eating donuts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and then training will probably result in my imminent death. So I figured it would be best to train first, then get dinner. When I say dinner, I mean donuts later. Um, we're in Kev's basement gym, which is a pretty sweet setup. Well, there's no dumbbells, so I have to make do. I'm gonna do a pull workout. I'm gonna keep it pretty uh, quick because I wanna get it done because I still feel like not great. So back biceps, let's make it happen. Right, training is done, felt pretty good. That's a lie, felt horrendous, my stomach hurt. Although actually I had a pretty sick pump. Um, it's now dinner time, um, I feel like a change, so why not go and get some Dunkin' Donuts? Sick, I got them, yes. I'm gonna put you oh, like here because I didn't plan this transition very well. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to be dramatic, but I probably never wanted to eat donuts less in my entire life. Like I don't, I'm not like mega full, like I feel okay, I just, the thought of eating more like sugary, circular, dough-based nuts is just not appealing to me right now. And it, conversely, like, I've never wanted to eat savoury food more in my life. Honestly, like, the, the thought of like eating pizza or like a burger or just like some fries is the best thing ever. I was so tempted to sack this off and go and get some pizza, but do you know what? I didn't do it because I'm freaking committed. So, if you've not subscribed to the channel by now, then what are you doing? Go and do it now because I'm literally kidding myself in the name of entertainment. So, this is what we have. I've got 12 again. I don't know why because I feel like there's a strong chance I'm not gonna be able to eat 12 and like no one around me wants to eat donuts anymore either. But um, yeah, just like a, it's like an easy choice, you know. I've got um, some original glaze, which I'm hoping will be better than the, like when I ordered, this morning I ordered like the original ones that I assumed would be original glaze. Obviously, in hindsight, I realized they weren't. They were like some weird moldy, doughy flavored donut, whereas these like should be more like the Krispy Kreme original glaze, I'm hoping. Uh, also should be fairly easy to eat. I've got like that, which is like a chocolate coconut one. Don't like coconut, but they had pretty much nothing left. Like, uh, word of advice, don't buy donuts from Dunkin' Donuts in the evening because, well this one had like literally none left. 
uh, their blueberry glaze, I think, no, their blueberry glaze, their, they literally had, uh, like, it was a choice out of getting more thingy glaze or originals, so I had to get some more originals, but I'm going to eat those last if I eat them at all. Then a couple of, like, jelly, which is, like, jam, donuts, um, yeah. I'm speaking because I'm procrastinating because I really, really don't want to eat these, but uh, wish me luck. Let's just get it done. situation is as follows. I really wanted to eat at least eight because that's an even number and I'm a weirdo but they're all disgusting and this one that I was planning on eating is like, I don't know if you can hear that, literally is like a shriveled, I don't know, your granddad's like plimsoll that's been left in the sun for 25 years. It's like just a solid lump. I'm not, I refuse to eat that. Just out of, um, um, personal pride. Um, yeah, so sick. Seven donuts consumed, which gives me the following calories and macros. Um, I feel like weird. I don't feel I am like full. Not like you know. I, again, I could force myself to eat more of these, um, but I don't want to. I just feel like what sort of disgusting. Like. Even though I'm full, I still want to eat like some pizza or something. I feel like something savoury is going to just, I don't know. I've just eaten, I don't know how much, I'll obviously work out in a bit, but I've eaten a stupid amount of sugar and just like so much, I don't know, crap. And like, by the way, those blueberry glazed ones weren't really, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if I'm, this is a poor reflection of these donuts because it's quite late, so I guess they've been sat in Dunkey Donuts all day, but the blueberry glazed ones were not very nice, they were like dense, like not, whereas the original glaze was still pretty good to eat. Although I'm, I'm kind of gauging donuts on uh, how easy they were to eat because I've eaten so many of them. Oh, yeah, so uh, plan is I will go and lie down and just like, I don't know, just think about my life and what it's come to, and then when I'm in a clearer frame of mind, I'll. Uh, Catch up with you then. I'm back and I'm feeling absolutely great. That was a joke, I feel disgusting. And I just kicked the high chair, which hurt quite a lot, so. Anyway, that's good, because it takes the, um, the, I can't even speak, my brain's not generating words, it takes my attention away from my stomach, which just feels horrendous. I'm gonna quickly put you here and see if you can uh, see this. Sick, sick physique. Right now, I feel like, <clears throat> My stomach has enlarged by about 400 times. Whoa. You see that? Looking pretty sick, right? Sick abs, bro. Sick stomach, bro. Oh my god, my stomach. What? I feel like I've, I've been sat down for like the last 20 minutes post donuts, and I feel like if anything, I feel worse. Okay, it's taken a minute, and my body suddenly realised, and my body's like, "What are you doing?" Well, I can probably, if I really try. And probably salvage it. Whoa, that really hurts though. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Oh, um, yes, yeah, so I worked out the numbers. Uh, the total calories and macronutrients for the day are on the screen for you there. Sick. Um, I mean, I think it was like 7K, 7 K, 7,000 calories there or thereabouts, which isn't that many. Like, I've eaten more. I've done like a friggin' 25,000 calorie challenge. It's not like 7,000 calories is obviously a lot for the average person, but I've eaten more. It's just eating just donuts is horrendous like at least when you eat loads of calories of normal stuff you can kind of mix it up you can go from sweet to savory or even different types of sweet but just eating the same stuff uh, over and over again is just yeah my body was just not happy with me doing that um yeah in terms of how i feel i feel crap like training i mean i felt all right when i was training but 
I didn't do a particularly long session and it was back and bicep. Like if I had tried to train now, I'd be sick 100%. Or, you know, if I tried to do any kind of legs today, that would be a write-off as well. So, yeah. As a review of eating nothing but donuts for 24 hours, bad. My review is bad. Just don't do that. Although, the silver lining is that there's actually some protein. Like when I was working at the macronutrients from the Dunkin' Donuts website, um, there are actually some, uh, there is actually some protein in the donuts. I was concerned I was going to be getting like, yeah, you know, like single thing, single figure digit protein for the day. But actually, I, I forget how much now, but it's like not good, but it's a, you know, not poverty amount of protein. So at least I'm not going to waste away and die. Psych, eating a low amount of protein for a day won't make that much of a difference. It's just, yeah, I feel like I've just eaten so much, like, I don't know, trans fats and all that kind of, like, fake crap. I've probably consumed, like, a ridiculous amount of that. So, yeah, I'm going to just go and lie down and just contemplate my existence for the rest of the evening. And I'm going to end the video here. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said at the start, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, maybe share the video with a friend. Or if you just know some weird fat pervert who likes donuts, then probably send it their way. And I will see you tomorrow.